Hey, and welcome back to Let's Say Fall on New Vegas, Episode 5. Fall New Vegas unmarked. Alright. So it's a broken radio tower, then turn right. Okay, so yeah, there was a broken thing. Yeah, over there. Okay, so yeah, there's unmarked um, quests, basically. Hmm. Those real, like, original walkie talkies. There's a gecko. These look um special. All right. The guy's girlfriend should be over here, right? Okay, so it's fairly obvious. There we go. Yeah, we get it, it's dead. It is well. Is his girlfriend dead? Let's pretend like I didn't read the little, um, quest thing. I didn't say what it said. Mm. Well, I don't know about the uh, whole radiation thing. Hmm. Uh oh. Huh! It just literally sheared it off. And that just literally vaporized it. I don't know what I expect. Is 
So we just keep on going up and up. That's a lot of them. A lot of youngins. Okay, I was gonna say. You come back here. There we go. I should probably sneak everywhere. Oh, I guess this ain't amnesia, not that I'm playing that right now. your girlfriend? I think it is. Let's not get trapped. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of amnesia. Hey. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. Uh huh. Yeah, sure you do, mate. Sure you do. Huh. Biker goggles, I need those. Pinion nuts. Take it, that's a stash. Ow. Oh, really? Do I mean, they're, um... Literally don't weigh anything, so... For fuck's sake. Recharge your rifle. I guess. Balloons? Oh, they're gone now. Okay, so I am going to um, look up every uh, New Vegas Fifteen major. Yeah, the fridge was a death trap. So you saw the good springs. Okay, same. So the fridge. Read these. This is a reference to the fourth Indiana Jones movie and the fourth one in which Jones survives a nuclear test facility blast by climbing to a lead line refrigerator. Cannibal miles away. Many consider this to be one of the silliest stunts in the history. And yeah, Jones changes in his appearance. It seems to suggest they're more likely a come trying to survive nuclear Armageddon inside a fridge. And any minute incidents, the reference. To a line spoken by General Robert Ross, Andy, a few minutes later in the movie, and he thank goodness you're right. Do you know better than to climb to refrigerator? Those things can be death traps. Johnny Five Aces. Here in Sir Barnthorne's quest. 
Uh, Mexican overlook south of Goodswings. Prospect there named Johnny wearing glasses with a glass pitcher next to him. Face on the table on the cliff of four balls and a line. So the failed game project Zyborn Clock, more specifically in one of its characters, Johnny Five Aces. Metaphorical explanation of the time travel involving four balls placed on the edge of a cliff initially. Oh, okay. Thought we had died. Um, initially announced in something alpha forms, a project featured strong work and somewhat convoluted plot material and eventually became a form inside joke. That form had four red balls besides, um, Johnny's actually sign point to exact. Should the death trap, f um, fridge from there? Should I not be there and there are only four things? Kids possibly have actually fallen off the cliffs. When that happens, very Mark Armour could be found beside them. Yeah, let's not. A gecko steak, yes please, and a maze. Is there any difference between maze and, um... Anything else? Yeah, and corn. So let's see what's over in this building over here. My side problem is, hey, what if there's a quest? Please don't kill me. Yeah. I guess. Oh, perception minus one. I do hope they stack and I didn't just waste it. Yeah, thanks for the 2 HP, mate. There we go, so I missed it. Again. It's okay. I slid off something. Like Sky, I'm perfectly modded. I'm saving. Oh dear. That sounds like rats. Or, uh, rat roaches. I'm good.
Yeah, I'll take those. Smile. What the hell? Oh, it's more geckos. Thanks. <laughs> Kill them with guns. Is it just, um, because of those glasses? Dear Lord. How do they go without them? Empty. They sound like squeaky toys. Huh. Yeah, I think that'll work. So it looks like all these are like unpowered. So why are bottle caps like, like why do they not just start printing money again? Is there a particular reason? So can I get a silence uh, shotgun? Is that even possible? Doubt it. I mean, we are connected. It would make sense that, um... What? Okay. I guess. Huh. Yeah, some lock picking. New Coca-Cola. Two rads. Yeah, that's... I'm... <laughs> turns out they're mixing, um, the radiation powder. Okay. The hell are these? One thing I let's close that. I don't think I want to know. I best take water where you can find it. I think I pissed something off. It is not sun friendly. MF Breeder. Hmm. There's no point. I guess. That's the luck. Fine, well, this thing cares. Oh, you can actually get up here. Is there, um, a melee button? Huh. 
Doesn't seem like it. So no, you can't just, uh, pistol whip them. Sadly. Surprisingly enough, not, um, A, giving me radiation. Also, what's interesting, I find interesting, is that it's called RADS. Which is a measurement. But, at least from, I've never heard of really using RADS. I've always, we've always used, um, REM, so. I didn't mean that. There we go. Is there a point? Hmm. Maybe out of order, but it's still got some caps in it. Sure. We'll go up first. Hmm. Now, probably best not to squeeze myself in there. Sneak our way in. Where? Hmm. Get under his torn note. And dynamite. Huh. You can kill baby gecko in about a second, just get in there and kick its face off. Perks too, the ladies fancy if you they see you kicking the shit out of a gecko. Mm. Alright, that's gonna be for this episode though, so enjoy the city, you know what to do. See ya.